neighbor and friend got me this Thai iced tea. So sweet. Um, I'm really excited to try it. It's um, constantly being advertised on Instagram, so it works. Instagram ads work. <laughs> Anyways, it looks really good and the packaging is just so fancy. Love it. Okay, let's give this a try. I really had to read this infographic because I was like, how do you make this? So, I already opened it. It comes with these little tea drops. Tea drops. And then I guess it comes with a milk and sugar. Oh, it's really pretty for some reason. say it's really gritty. Mmm, <laughs> it's like sandy in your mouth. I don't know why. Am I supposed to filter it? It doesn't say anything but that. Dissolve your tea drop in two ounces of hot water. Stir, add one packet of milk, stir an additional two ounces of cold water and ice. This is a loose leaf tea, so sediment yeah, there's definitely sediment, that's for sure. It needs a filter, honestly. I've got a skincare unboxing. I'm just kidding. I only bought one thing, so. <laughs> However, I did get a lot of skincare. The main thing I got was this Amore Pacific Treatment Cleansing Foam. I've been using Shiseido's, um, what is it called? White Lucent Brightening uh, Cleansing Foam for like, 10 years probably so i just wanted to switch it up a little and i had used this cleanser before as a sample and i really liked it if it's the right one i got it had these little beads in it, it felt pretty good so i'm gonna give this a try and then what else did i get samples i don't think did i put this in there i don't feel like i did maybe they replaced it with something else ah Oh, this is such a cute little bag. Some drunk elephant products, which I'm excited about. I think I redeemed these using points. Ooh, Tatcha's always good too. I love getting Tatcha samples. Let's see if they can open it with one hand. It's always so pretty. 
deep cleanser and I think the moisturizer, water cream. And honestly, I don't think I asked for this. So I think they definitely gave me whatever was just left over. Take two. <laughs> take two. Take two. Okay, okay mommy's. Take two. Okay, take two. Mommy's gonna. Oh, mommy's gonna do the egg. Is it okay? Yeah, that okay. Let's do egg. And then we're gonna do. Can you put in the breadcrumbs? I only mix. Oh. Oh. Pretty good. Okay. Pretty good. And then can we put in? This one, can you put in that one? Can you reach? Some toy toy. Yeah, some toy toy. Cool. Good job. Okay, let go, let go. Okay. Okay, it's okay, baby. You can do, um, you can help me make these balls bigger, okay? You just roll up your sleeve, though. Oh! Okay, roll up your sleeve, baby. And you also need to wash hands later. And then you can really roll up some rolls and meatballs. I'm mm -hmm. like that one. Yeah. A little bit. Wow. You want, no, you want it wet. Here. Here, roll a meatball. No, no, no. Watch mommy. Watch mommy. Hey, hey, hey. Watch mommy, okay? <laughs> like that. Do you see? <laughs> it's pretty good. Look, Ava's first meatball. It's not bad. It's pretty good, Ava. A meatball. A meatball. Yeah. See? It's a meatball. I see, I see. What's here? Okay. I just want to take a moment to rave about my new um, coffee clip, I guess, coffee bag clip. 
that I got from Amazon. It is so functional and cute at the same time. This bag of coffee didn't come with a spoon or scoop, so it was perfect that I had this available to scoop my coffee. And, and uh, the teeth on here are pretty tight, so it's a good grip here. See that? So I'd, I highly recommend it, highly. Yummy to you? This is Daddy. your bedtime story. <laughs> Someone wanted to read this for their bedtime story. It's a cookbook from like the 90s, the early, probably late 80s, early 90s. This is some very Americanized Chinese food. Ma Pao Dafu.